Many of you are wondering which is the best 8650 cell. So here we will put the top capacity cells of all major 5 manufacturers up to the test to let you know which is the best. These tests are made with Litokala Li 500 discharge testers. They are very accurate and reliable for testing, but they only test in the range 4.2 volt to 3.0 volt, not all the way down to 2.5 volt, which is the limit set by all manufacturers except for Samsung. This means the cells actually have about 5% more capacity than observed in these tests. Therefore, you cannot compare the data in this video article with other cells unless you test them at a Litokala Li 500 or similar testing equipment. We test them at 500 milliamps, which is the standard value on Litokala, and gives the best readout. If you want access to our Excel file and test data, let us know. The most important category is capacity of the cells. However, the capacity of brand new cells manufactured at the same time can vary quite a lot. The difference in capacity is from about 5% up to about 10% between individual cells. Also, if you retest a cell several times, it will most likely never have the exact same capacity. That's why you need to test a lot of cells to get any kind of usable data. We used 40 cells of each brand since our discharge testing station can handle 20 cells at each time. A hundred or even thousand cells would give you a lot better data to work with, but 40 cells gives us enough to see trends and calculate basic statistics. Amps. From the data sheets we can see that the cells can handle from about 6.7 to 10 amps at the most. But these numbers are from different manufacturers doing different tests and having different opinions on what is safe and good for their cells. You cannot compare this data between cells. Just because LG says, says their cell can handle 10 amps does not mean that Panasonic cells cannot handle the exact same current. Since we don't know if this limit is set for when the cells get voltage shag, gets slightly warm, gets very warm, loses capacity or reaches thermal runaway, these are just limits you need to know to safely operate the cells. Never exceed them, but also never compare them between brands. They are not meant for that. Cycle life. This is perhaps the most important category, but this is not something we can test at the moment, since it requires very expensive equipment and can take years. However, all manufacturers supply some sort of psyche life statistics, but again, you cannot possibly compare them to each other, mostly because they test them at different variables. Charging is at 1 to 1.65 amps, that's a 65% difference, and this charging, there's a 87% difference in this test. But the data from this test are quite similar. They all indicate that capacity loss is in direct relation to time and use. They all show similar declining lines, which indicate that the capacity declines at about 0.1% per cycle. Notice that these tests are done at high current and max range, and these cells only get about 30 minutes of rest between tests. So these are cycle life under the most extreme circumstances. This data should only be interpreted as minimum expectancy of cycle life. Capacity winner. The Sanyu GA clearly has the most capacity in their cells, there's no doubt about it. They averaged out about 3500 milliamp hours, which no other cells comes close to. Sony is second, LG is third, Samsung fourth and Panasonic is last. But this is hardly a fair competition since Panasonic released their cell way back in 2011, two to three years before any other brands introduced their high capacity cells. Panasonic actually had a cell called NCR18650G with an amazing 3600 milliamp hours rumored in 2014. It was only in the market for a very short while and then disappeared completely. We believe that Panasonic, which owns the Sanjo company, released this cell in 2014 but manufactured most of them exclusively for Tesla 
and then set up a Sanyo factory to produce them as NCR 18650GA for other business segment. Price. All cells are priced very similarly at about $3 in China, 4 euros in Europe or $5 in USA. However, since Sony's cell was just released only weeks before this test, it is currently about twice as expensive as the other cells. The conclusion is that none of these cells are bad, they are all quite excellent, but the winner clearly is Sanyo, with the highest capacity, small cell difference, set to handle 10 amps, and at the same price or only slightly more expensive than its competitors. Second place is shared between LG and Samsung. Their data and price are so similar that these cells might actually be the same cell or sharing the same chemistry. Panasonic is fourth, which is not bad since it was top capacity cell for almost three years. And the next cell we see from Panasonic will probably change the world. Sony with its high price is not worth the money yet. Which is your favorite 18650 cell? Did you like our test or could we do something better? Please let us know in the comments.